I have on there that I wanted to bring mm -hmm. out. I couldn't get some of the features that, for instance, I was trying my possible best and up to now, we are into that course. And that is what I'm saying. When white people come and exploit Africa, that's how the thing looks like. You understand me? When Beyonce wanted to feature me, mm -hmm. I swear to God, mm -hmm. eh, I didn't want to even continue that process again. You know why? Tell us. Because the person, the Ghanaian that followed that thing, that was coordinating for that thing, went all wrongly about the situation because he was being silly, 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 silly. I was like, yo, shut up, yo, don't tell me that. You understand me? Like, don't even shout like that. You know, oh no, she said she should come next week. Oh, they said they have to shoot every day. Oh, they said they're gonna... You see all yeah. these things? It doesn't move me. You understand me? That's why sometimes... I did it because I love the fans. That's why I did that. That's why I stressed myself. Beyonce actually, her team actually wanted me to fly from Ghana with that crew. So like the way I travel, 16 people, 12 people, Yes, me and my team, but our Ghanaians, mm -hmm. eh, with their pressure, eh, force me. Now, I want to feature Beyonce, now I'm getting problem. Now, the same Ghanaian person can't even get to that feature. Wow. You understand me? And those are some of the things that got me pissed with their whole album, and I was like, no. And then I got some distributors to also get me, like, you know, a deal in Nigeria. Everything was going on proper. Mm -hmm. But before I realized, a paper that they were supposed to give me to sign so they can give me the next amount of money to shoot my videos, which I've spoken to TJ Omori to shoot with. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened, but I gave them a list to just test them on how they can keep my song for me. And that wasn't the list that I wanted them, that, that I wanted for you. You know me, like, because sometimes I'm a bad boy, so like, when I think this way, I think that way too. So I was like, okay, let me give them this track list and see what they can, they are going to do with it. And see what happened. It just they just leaked those ones, which means and the person that connected me to those Nigerians. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So that person that person is in Ghana and I swear to you as I'm talking to you right now, his house papers, I have it. Because I've taken his house papers. I don't pay like that. I told you, I don't want to go to court law, those kind of things. I don't want to. Because I have done my possible best to work with people to keep me like a treasure so that they know that no, anything Shatter says, bro, like anything I say, I do it. Like, that's why I tell people that you, you come to my house, the way I live, you won't even think that that's how I live. Mm. Yes, because people have a whole lot of perception about the Shatter brand and how and stuff like that. But people that come around me know that, yo, this is a serious guy that fucking loves to work and take his work for sure. Part. When they come to me, they, then they just want to mess things mm. up. And that's why I told them, yeah, I called the people and I told them that, yeah, that wasn't the album I wanted to give you guys. And it's good I didn't give you guys because the features I had for myself that I wanted to add Beyonce to it, and then a couple of few people weren't coming. So it was good. But that doesn't stop me from promoting another album. That doesn't stop me from moving anywhere. I don't want to go on radio and TV and be complaining about it that somebody, you know, that I, you know, gave my album to, you know, did this and stuff like that. No, I was smarter than them. Like, I did what I had to do because I didn't want to give them what I mm. had because I felt, yes, that would happen. Okay. You understand wow. me? So, basically, what maybe people might think about with the GOG and stuff like that. Yes, it's a whole full package album that I was so much into, you know, but if GOG doesn't come, like life goes on. That's why I dropped Mali, you know, I start, I, w I wanted people to get me from that direction where I came from. Like, yo, I do dance solo. When I was doing dance solo, there was Famini, there was the one one more in the industry doing their normal hip life songs and stuff like that. Yes, but when I tapped in there, I got what I wanted from that place. And I've gotten a briefcase from that side. That's what I'm saying. I have a dance or briefcase. I have a full big briefcase. And I have a shutter music. Yeah. When I say shutter music, shutter music is those music that my fans love when I'm performing at the stadium. I say, you go, if you push me to do what you want, I don't be driving. Those things are, they are shutter yeah. music. Yeah, they are not like, like, 
and uh, in general, like the way Fela has created Afro beats. Yes, I've also tried to see that. No, I have fans that love me when I'm singing like this, and I do like. So basically, um, with the GOG and everything that everybody is thinking, nobody should even. Uh, um, um, feel down about it or anything. We still move, you know, and that's me in life. I I, I move, and that's why we need to con concentrate on the connect album and see how well we can all, you know, push it up.